This is the stack that serves the hallway bathroom above us. And as is typical of 70s construction in this area, all the drainage piping is copper. I have had several problems with the lateral that this stack feeds into that are there also are uh, three other stacks feeding into the same lateral and then it runs about 70 feet and then the the kitchen and the laundry room tie into it and those have not that's never been a problem so from that area to the street has never had a blockage but I have had several partial blockages that will affect the ability to drain more than just a you know, toilet flush worth of water through it. If you try and take a long shower or run the tub, uh, the water will back up into the floor drain here and also into the basement uh, bathroom shower. And uh, my attempts to fix this have included hydro jetting it myself with my little jetter hose on a electric pressure washer which I realize is not the same as professional jetting equipment, but I was able to get it cleared once or twice that way. And then it happened about a year later and I called the pros out and they first uh, rotted it, then they camera it, then they hydro jetted it, then they camera it again. And it was working after that, but it was kind of inconclusive. I was really hoping to have them say, oh yeah, here's your problem and now it's fixed. So anyway, um, the problem has recently recurred and I had thoughts of, well, what do we do if we can't get this fixed? Do I have to reroute all these lines overhead and prepare for, you know, that's going to cost at least 50 bucks. Uh, so uh, I had arranged for a company that had a truck mounted sewer jetter to come out and really blast the hell out of that lateral through this clean out. And then, of course, sitting there doing some reading online, I... I realized that I had seen these things and I had never tried one. And I thought, well, shoot, for eight bucks or whatever this thing cost, it's worth a try. And what is this? This is a, uh, a drain bladder or a drain bag. And as you can see, it fits on the end of a garden hose. And it's closed. It's sealed except for a little hole in the tip. And when you turn the water on, the water comes out here pretty forcefully, but it also inflates this bag this bladder to seal it against the walls of the pipe. I'll show you that without making it. We'll see if I can do this without making a big mess. All right, so. And if I turn it on full blast, now you can see how that swells up until it uh, fills the diameter of the pipe. And then it goes back down to its normal unpressurized size. So kind of a cheap hokey little thing. I was not really hopeful about it working. Um, I thought worst case scenario is this thing might get caught in the pipe and I can't get it out and then I'd be in trouble. But other than that, I was willing to give it a try. So here's what I did. First of all, the original brass or iron clean out plug had been replaced years ago with this thing which tells me that the previous owners had to do something like this too and so underneath here I don't know maybe six inches down is an elbow it turns and it goes that away and uh, so if we stick this down there sometimes it's a bit tricky to get it to go around the, the, the bend But in any case, not to bore you, dear viewers, uh, I was able to get this to go about 20 feet down that lateral. And then I turned it on and let her rip. And because that, that bladder was inflating, it was sealing the pipe off back of it and forcing the pipe in front of it, the pipe between the bladder and the blockage, to fill with some slightly pressurized water. I mean, we weren't getting the tons and tons of PSI we got with the hydrojetter, but it was filling the whole pipe. 
and after running this for you know 10 minutes or so and carefully watching to make sure I didn't see any kind of catastrophic backups in the in the works uh, I turned it I, I turned it off and pulled it out and got the uh, got the drains all running I turned on as much water as I could and no sign of backup either at that point or since then and now it's been a good couple weeks so uh, I have a feeling I might have to do this again but it was uh, <laughs> it was a lot cheaper than jetting it out certainly a lot cheaper than paying a plumber to jet it out and a hell of a lot cheaper than replacing that piping either under the slab or overhead because of course if I went to overhead piping then the basement drains would have to have an ejector pit and that's just all kinds of fun uh, so anyway that's my little story about how my my eight dollar drain bladder has has rescued my plumbing thank you <laughs>